Hey, what's up everyone? It's 5.30 in the morning and I couldn't wait any longer. I picked up this M1 MacBook Air yesterday at Costco. Uh, it was on sale for about $7.99 um, and I wanted to make a quick video uh, just unboxing it. I actually unboxed it yesterday, but I didn't set it up. So I'm going to, uh, I did film yesterday when I unboxed it, so I'll put that together. And I wanted to just film, you know, the initial setup, sort of like I did with the Mac Mini um, video about a year or two ago. Um, so this is basically the same generation, same processor. Um, I think it has eight gigs of RAM, which doesn't sound like a lot, but um, you know, Apple stuff is pretty optimized, so um, should be enough. The Mac Mini I have has 16 gigs, um, you know, but this laptop I don't plan to do a ton of hardcore processing, just uh, mostly just online browsing and stuff. Um, so yeah, 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigabyte uh, solid state drive. So that's the exact same size as the Mac Mini. It's been fine, I haven't had any issues. Um, if you need more space, just get an external, uh, you know, one terabyte. That's what I have for the Mac Mini. But I don't think I'll need that for uh, the, uh, the laptop because mostly I'm just going to be traveling with it. I'm not really saving huge files on it. So uh, this should be perfect. So yeah, why don't we just uh, go ahead and open this up and we'll, we'll set it up go through the initial setup like we did with the Mac Mini, and um, I guess I'll give my initial thoughts on it. All right, and here's that footage from last night when I was opening up the Mac Mini for the first time. So I'm um, just pulling off the plastic here, so there was a little tab that I could just pull. Um, actually didn't even need that pocket knife. I thought I might have needed it, but uh, yeah, didn't. It was <clears throat> really simple just to pull that off. Um, yeah, so I'm just opening it up now for the first time. Um, yeah, just initially having a little trouble pulling uh, pulling it off there. Approximately ten hours later. Yeah, uh, finally got it open, and we can see here. There's the Mac. So it's a 13.3 inch, I believe. And yep, 13 inches, and it's got a plastic wrap on the top of it. And then inside the box, uh, there's not much. It's it's pretty simple. Uh, just uh, instruction manual, uh, a USB 3 cable, so it's USB 3 on both ends, and then just a, a power charging block, and and that's it. So yeah, it's, it's really uh, clean, clean and simple uh, packaging. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, let's go ahead and open it up again. We'll take the plastic off of this. I believe this is a 13 inch MacBook. 13 point something, I believe. I'm not sure what it's at. Uh, so it just powered on right as I opened that up. It started to do something already. I guess just the initial boot up. All we have in the box here is just the power cable and a power block for it. So this is a this is small. I didn't realize this is so small. Well, it's because these M1 processes are much more efficient, power efficient, so this doesn't need such a huge power block. And then we just have a little instruction book. And you know, that's everything that's in here. So let me kind of tilt that so you can see it. I'm just going to hit the enter button and select English.
most likely we'll have some updates to do because I can tell this operating system is already um, it's the last one. So I was asking if I want to migrate any older data from a different Mac or other computer. I'm not going to migrate any data, so I'm just going to hit not now. Apple ID. So let me pause this while I type in my Apple ID real fast. All right, uh, 15 attempts later, and I remembered my Apple ID password. So I just put that in, and now I'm just agreeing to some iCloud stuff. All right, now I'm going to create a computer account. Um, so let's just make this simpler. It's asking me if I want to turn on my find, find my, so I'm just going to click continue. Um, I'm going to leave everything by default here. Series off, device analytics, app analytics, all turned off, location services is turned on. I'll leave that like it is. Uh, let's scroll down a little. Screen time on. Um, I don't know if I care about screen time actually. Okay, I'm going to change that, so I'm going to customize. Uh, I think it's asking me every single one, so don't want to share analytics. Don't want the screen time. I'm going to turn this on. Uncheck and it will see me. Turn, uncheck, turn on, file, vault, disk encryption. I don't need all this stuff. Uh, set up touch ID. Sure, let's set that. I didn't even realize this had touch ID. All right. Set up touch. Oh no, let's set this up now. Place your finger on the touch ID repeatedly. And right above the delete button, there's a place to press your touch ID for your finger. Cool, that's awesome. All right, it's talking about Apple Pay. I don't want to set this up right now. Actually, I'll set it up. <laughs> it must be pulling from my, uh, my phone somehow, it's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna pause this while I uh, update this. Okay, Apple Pay has been set up. Now I'm just gonna change my look. So I'm gonna do auto. So that just makes it dark at night, basically, and light during the day. So it's dark now, because it's 6 a.m. Uh, I guess it does it with the sunrise, maybe. So that's cool. All right, so we're up and running. Um, so it says you can add new accounts, so I'll probably update my email accounts here or my mail accounts, tie them together. Um, I want to see about the system update first and foremost. So let's check, first let's check the stats on this, the uh, specs, just to make sure it's what we expect. So right now we have Mac OS Monterey, um, chip Apple M1, memory 8 gigabyte. Um, see the storage. Yep, 
251 gigabytes of 256 uh, display built in retina. So yeah, it's a 13.3 inch screen. Um, that's good. So I'm just going to check the uh, software updates. I'm going to go to hit the Apple button and then system preferences. And then somewhere near software update. And there we go, Mac OS Ventura 13.0.1. It's 12 gigs, so that's pretty big. So I'm going to upgrade now. Um, I Before I do this, I want to plug in. There goes my alarm. <laughs> Make sure I wake up. All right. Um, so what I was saying, yeah, before I actually click upgrade, I want to plug in the power first because this could take a while and I want to charge it to full charge anyway. So I'm just going to undo this. on both ends, which is nice. I guess it's USB-C or something like that. So, let's see where we plug this in. You know, not on that side. That look, actually looks like an audio jack. I didn't realize they had it. like a 3.5 millimeter for headphones. I'll test that out later. I didn't think they made those anymore. So power is going to go on this side. So there's two uh, of the same connection right there, USB. I think it's um, USB C. So I'm just going to plug it in. And then I'm going to go um, plug this in under the desk here. Alright, it's been plugged in. You can see it's charging up here at 72%. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click upgrade now for the operating system. Put my password in real fast. The available software updates have changed. Please start the update again. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay, so it's downloading it right now. Um, this could take a while, so let me just pause the video. So I just got a notification on my Mac Mini that a device was added to your account. It says a Mac now has access to iMessage and FaceTime. If you don't recognize this device, you can remove it in system settings. So that's, that's cool. All right, yeah, it's just downloading. So I will uh, turn the video back on once it's either downloaded or totally installed. Let's we'll see, if, it, if it's exciting after it's downloading and it's installing, I'll film it. But if it's not, I will just pick back up after it's installed. Because this, at this rate, it's going kind of slow. Uh, it might take like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. All right, so it's been about uh, 13 hours. I'm back from work now. Um, so where we left off, it was upgrading the operating system. So I'm gonna just power it on or press this touch ID button. And it looks like it's been updated. It says uh, passwords required to enter touch ID. All right, so I'll put my new password that I uh, configured when I was initially setting it up. And I can already tell by the background that it's been upgraded to the latest operating system. Uh, and that is, I keep forgetting the name of it. It is, Ventura. So it's Ventura, so uh, yeah, I can tell just by the background it matches what I have on my Mac Mini, so it's Ventura. Um, it's asking me about analytics. I'm going to click continue without checking anything. Uh, store file, store files from documents and desktop. I don't want to store that in iCloud, so I'm going to uncheck that. And there we go. Looks like we're uh, logged on now. It's bringing me to setup.icloud.com. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to X out of that. 
and there we go. So it looks like we're up and running. I'm going to unplug this because we have a full charge now. It's been charging all day. So just unplug the charger to make it a little bit easier to work with. And yeah, here we are. We're up and running. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to Safari and download Google Chrome because that's my preferred web browser, even on Mac. I've tried to use Safari, but I'm just not a big fan. So I'm going to download Chrome. It's taking a while to launch. There we go. So I'm just going to install Chrome. So let me just search for Chrome. Yeah, I'm going to set it as my default browser and I'm going to uncheck um, setting usage statistics. Uh, and close all these notifications. All right, there we go, we're up and running. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of sign into all my different accounts, but yeah, as far as uh, it goes, we're, we're up and running. Um, my messages are, are synced through iCloud. And yeah, uh, in order to, um, you know, I'll have to test it out to give it a little bit more um, input about my initial reaction, but. All right, so the one thing I am gonna change right off the bat is the right click. So currently on the trackpad, if you just press you know where you think a right click would be nothing happens um, and I think the the Mac equivalent on a laptop would be you need to hold on the trackpad with two fingers down like that I just can't get used to that so I'm going to change the right click button so I'm just going to search for I think trackpad and we're going to go to the secondary click so instead of click with two fingers we're going to say click in bottom right corners. So that's going to be a right hand click. So now if I right click on Chrome, for example, I have the option to quit. And that's that's what I'm used to, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing that really um, I've, I've changed so far. Um, um, yeah, we're pretty much set up now. Um, I'll probably need to just you know test drive for a couple days or so. Um, before I have any, feed, any additional feedback. But yeah, initial impressions are that this is awesome. The uh, install is really fast, um, super smooth setup. And yeah, no complaints so far. And I, I didn't think there would be because um, I know this is very similar to the Mac Mini. Um, so this whole experience is, uh, has been great. So yeah, hopefully it was helpful. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, talk to you later.